we're going to run through the process of setting up an automated way to identify bots in your database and get rid of them. So what we're doing here is we're first setting up our email and this is going to trigger whenever anyone opens up an email or a bot opens up an email. What we're doing is applying a technique called invisible ink and what this is basically what this basically is is uh, we're going to add a link with white text and it would not be visible to a human so obviously only a bot would click it so we're just getting everything in place right now this is an offer again it triggers out to anyone who has opened up an email and it's going to be an immediate follow-up so what we're walking through now is the process of setting up uh, what we call an autobot uh, it's also commonly known as an auto trigger so you see we've got the twitter link in there or again we're just using this as a bogus link Okay, so now it's in place. Now, the other thing that's really, uh, you know, useful about this is that if you are going to do an automated trigger out to people who are opening, you obviously have people who are legitimate that are clicking. So you could put a legit offer in there. And it's a great way to just get some boost um, on the on your results. Uh, and then also, you notice that we said reply to the email. So that's going to get us delivery love as well. What we're doing here in the process is we're just setting up um, a zap. Uh, so in Makesbridge, what we do is um, we create custom export uh, rules uh, for when we are going to send a record out to Zapier. The reason why we're doing this is because Makesbridge does not have an auto trigger in place yet to automatically suppress people um, based on a click. Um, so this is our very simple workaround for that. Again, what we're doing is we're setting up a rule where if anyone um, clicks on that Twitter link, that they're going to be uh, exported out to Zapier. So here we're setting up our Zap. Uh, you see that we chose the trigger within Makesbridge, and here we're grabbing that bot. So the first thing we're doing again is we makes bridge is automatically going to export that person who clicked on that Twitter link. And here what we're going to do is we're going to add them into a list we created within this account for bot um, captured bots because we're wanting to see pretty much like how many uh, are these like you know that we're getting every day every week just to keep tabs on it. Now, the next step we're going to have after this is we're also going to want to add it um, the bot person or the bot, I should say, uh, directly into a suppress list. So the process here is we first added to that bot captured list. Then we want to have a bit of a delay because we don't want to have that person be suppressed because if they're suppressed, we won't be able to add them into Makesbridge. So long story short, um, we're just adding a bit of a delay here and uh, then we're going to add that person to the the master account suppress list. Now, since I touched on master account, you know, if many of our clients have multiple sub accounts um, that they're using, so what we do by adding the bot address into the master account, um, all the suppress all the sub accounts will um, will not be able to send to those bot addresses because the suppression carries throughout all the different accounts and then that's it so once you play your zap then you're good to go so I'm gonna wrap this up with showing you the task history which is showing us how many bots we've gotten here in Zapier so we'll take one that came in and you see we've got Whipple auto body at AOL.cm so you would think that that was a bad address but it's a legitimate address because the email was sent out and we actually captured a click Back in Makesbridge, I've gone, I'm going to look up Whipple Autobody, and you see that it's been suppressed. So that process again was automatic. Now, let's take a look at the Autobot and how, you know, how it has been performing for us. So what we did in this case is we sent out, you know, just shy of 80,000 different emails uh, for our, you know, last day openers. And you see, this is something you probably typically see where you see that you've got more clicks than opens. And again, that's because of your bots.
Now, here's one indicator for you is we uh, increment 10 points whenever anyone opens. So this is over 300 opens uh, since January. So clearly that, that's fake. And you see, we see in their history timeline that they had clicked on a couple of in, um, invisible ink uh, links that we had. Now, the other thing here too is, you know, if you're having issues with say Yahoo delivery or Gmail, you know, you could look it up because we tag these folks and you see that this person um, was recent, added somewhat recently and they clicked on the invisible ink too. So here, these could be Yahoo honeypots that we're getting rid of. So hopefully you find this video uh, very helpful. You know, bots are a big problem, whether it's they're manually placed, uh, they could be honeypots that are go undetected by your uh, typical hygiene tool. Um, so uh, it could be malware, you know, all kinds of different things that get you into trouble. Uh, and really just uh, turn your delivery upside down. And hopefully you found this uh, video to be super duper helpful. Um, if you have any questions, just get in touch with us, support at makesbridge.com. Come to our website, sign up for a demo, sign up for a trial. Um, let us uh, take good care of you. And uh, again, hopefully you uh, got a lot out of this video. Thank you.